we're uh, enjoying paradise for 24 more hours. We're leaving tomorrow morning at this time. Okay. Hey, Alexis. Yes. Tell me again how uh, when when this uh, when this screen this opening screen um, is taken off, will the participants go along the top? Is that what you told me before? Yep. The pictures will automatically go to the top. Well, you can also, Carl, turn yours into gallery view if you want, so you can see the strip of people on the side versus just one. Um... Yeah, but that's where I put my uh, comments. Uh, comments. Right. Okay, okay. Well, so yes. as long as I get those at the top or wherever, then I'm happy. I then okay. I can put the comments to my right side. So that's cool. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I was doing it okay. And, and I have it gets pretty crazy out there, you know, and I have to be ready. That's right. Hi, Daniel. Welcome. Thank you. Good to be here. Uh, there's the mellifluous voice. Hey, Daniel. Yes. Wonderful. You're sounding great. We're um, live on Facebook. So Rudy, or let's see, um, Tam, you are our official weaver. So um, I think right at, um, at 11, we can um, get started, but um, we're, we'll give everybody their full two minutes to get, to get here to join us. Um, but we will ask everybody to please mute yourself. Um, there are reactions of if you're watching us in the Zoom um, world, <laughs> there is a reactions button there at the bottom of your screen. Um, looks like a little circle person with the plus sign. And if you let us know, you know, if you're really liking the song or um, when somebody says something that you like, that helps us pull, um, if you've noticed, maybe we've been making some quotes and things on social media for trying to get people to watch the replays of the videos. So your comments, why we're doing it live, helps us down the road, so. Um, and then last but not least, why we get started, um, Feel free to go ahead and do your support of the circle. We are a nonprofit and um, funded by donations. And the info there is all at celebrationcircle.org, or we'll post the links and stuff coming up here. But Tam, I'm gonna with that. I'm gonna turn it over to you. And uh, you've still got a minute, but I'll let you be the the starter. Okay. Amazing job with production, Alexis. You've been doing amazing and really good job today. And it's on time. Fantastic. <laughs> Yay! All right. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Good day. Welcome, everybody, to Celebration Circle. Uh, please uh, feel free to share in the comments uh, uh, where you're from. Uh, we'd like to know. And um, also, please uh, feel free to share Celebration Circle with your family and your friends, you know, so they can join us all together. Um, I'm Tam, and I am a co-founder with Celebration Circle. And uh, it's so awesome to be a part of this community. And uh, yeah, so welcome. And again, you know, uh, this is Celebration Circle and we are an inclusive multi-faith uh, uh, community with a creative approach to spirituality. So welcome. And now we have a song by Rudy that he made called Come Celebrate. Good morning, join me in singing. Come celebrate, gather together, come celebrate, one by one, come celebrate, now and forever, let us remember we are one, come celebrate, join in a circle, come celebrate, side by side, come celebrate, now and forever, let us remember we are one. To celebrate, celebrate, come celebrate, 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 come celebrate, 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 come celebrate, 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 come celebrate, 
come celebrate. We gather together, come celebrate. Heart open wide, come celebrate. Now and forever, let us remember we are one. Awesome. Thank you Rudy, for that warm up in the morning, right? <laughs> um, now we're going to um, uh, want you to join us for our four directions as we uh, go from the east, the north, the south, and the west, and within us. And um, as uh, we welcome you, uh, whether it is your first time or you're here often, we invite you to join us. We will be this morning as we do each Sunday uh, in our invocation. O oh, great spirit, earth, sun, sky, and sea, you are inside and all around me. And we'll sing this once as we stand, if you're able to, and physically turn and face the four directions. And then we'll sing it a fifth time towards our own uh, center for that divine within each one of us. So we'll sing it. Uh, uh, won't you join us as we begin facing the east? the direction of the rising sun of the beginnings and the infinite possibility. Oh, oh great spirit, earth, sun, sky, and sea, you are inside and all around. And turning and facing the south, direction of abundance and blessings. Oh, great spirit, earth, sun, sky, and sea, you are inside and all around. And turning to the west, the direction of the setting sun, darkness and challenge. Oh, great spirit, earth, sun, sky, and sea, you are inside and all around me. And turning north in the direction of winter, Oh, great spirit, earth, sun, sky, and sea, you are inside and all around me. And turning within the spirit to the great mystery that binds us all. Great spirit, earth, sun, sky, and sea, you are inside and all Here we go with our opening prayer. Oh, great spirit, holy one, holy wonder, we open our hearts and minds to you and all of creation, embracing the great mystery of who you are and how you are in our lives. We release into this moment gratitude for all that is. Will you join our hearts with all of creation, with the two-legged and the four-legged and the winged ones and the ones that swim and crawl with the rocks and the trees and the grasses and the seas and the skies, the stars, the universe, with all that we celebrate our oneness as we affirm that we are one. Together, we are one. And once again, we 
are one. And now we uh, welcome our guest, musician Vanessa Lively with Learning to Breathe. they pass the memories stay in the back of a fragile mind and slowly release in time she's learning Awesome. Thank you, Vanessa. That's so sweet. All right. Now I have a prayer that, uh, that I wrote personally, and uh, it's called The Gift. The greatest gift of all is to lead by inspiration with all your heart, withholding all your present moments through patience and in grace to grow what is given to you as the gift that you are. Thank you. Remember that you are the gift. Um, now we have a breath that we will be doing together. Um, now we come to our time of communion, a physical manifestation of our um, physical oneness. Uh, this morning, I invite you to join me as we breathe together, as we remember that we are literally breathing the same air and we will take four deep, long communal breaths together. As we inhale, I invite you to not just in, ingest the air, but to digest it, uh, taking it in fully and mindfully. 
and we excel to let us release all that is past so that we come more fully into this precious present moment now. Together, we inhale uh, with, the, with the sound of the bow ringing four times. So um, inhale and exhale. With me, inhale and exhale. Once more, inhale. Again, exhale. Again, inhale, and exhale, and then finally inhale, and exhale. Truly, we are one. Now we have another song uh, called uh, Skeleton by the Light. Thank you. I believe I'm actually uh, singing the bear at this time. Um, and so, and then I'll offer skeletons at the end if that's okay. That's wonderful, thank you. Okay, thank you. from slumber, awake from your sleep, the day is dawning, come out of the deep, the winter's waning, the warmth of spring, it draws you out from the dark, cool cave.
think Vanessa. Uh, today's topic is uh, your dark past. Uh, every trigger is a gift. Uh, Daniel Montanado uh, shares how your own shadow needs your love and that those difficult people in our lives are all a gift. Uh, Daniel Montanado is an exclusive perform consultant, helping clients leverage their experience, gifts, and talents with a practical physiological uh, leadership structure. Uh, facil facilitating uh, deep self inquiry, tapping doormat um, towards inner leadership resources, in personal, professional, and team performance, challenging women and men to be their authentic hero or hero for their own life. So, welcome, Daniel. Hello, everybody. How's the sound? Is it good? You're sounding good, Daniel. Thank you so much. It's always a great uh, gift to be here in Community and Circle. And uh, I want to celebrate Josephine Baker briefly. Today's her birthday. Not only was she a woman who, uh, under pain and duress, left this country to pursue her calling, her adventure, she also served in the resistance, the French resistance as a spy. So uh, she's an amazing lady and a model for us. Uh, being the shero and the hero of our own lives. So as we drop into perhaps a greater consciousness of the four directions and the great spirit that lives within us, what all humans are called to do is some self-inquiry and sometimes deep self-inquiry. And some of us, it's just too painful to go back to the past and to reflect and to revisit perhaps those injustices like the 215 graves of indigenous children in British Columbia, Columbia, Canada that were discovered. That's, that's a painful truth, but it happened. And so these are the things that we, these dark pasts that are collective and or individual are things that if I do resist it, it's probably going to persist. And if I do accept it, it doesn't mean that I condone it. It doesn't mean that I agreed with it. It doesn't mean that it was right. It just means that it was in reality. It did happen. And as we move into the space that's sacred, that's spiritual, that's ritual with Celebration Circle, uh, I'm always aware of the contribution that every individual makes to create the container for us to go deeper and connect to the spirit that's within us and see the spirit that's within each other. And as Rudy opened up, there's only one of us. Well, um, the one. Um, so what if that's really, 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 really true, that there's only one of us, that I'm you and you are me, and that this illusion, this individuation is kind of an illusion that we're really one great spirit altogether. Hmm. You know, I can think and, and reflect on that. And if it's really, really true, wow, what a game changer. So that space was opened up. And as Vanessa saying, to grieve again, speak again, breathe again, open wide from a heart that's gone cold. So who hasn't been wounded or hurt or who hasn't been a witness to someone being wounded or hurt? So there it is again, there's the she rose journey, the, the process of, of going back to what happened and then transforming it. Uh, also Tam in her poem said, you are the gift. Imagine I am the gift. And I don't mean the ego self, even though the ego self is a gift too. There's a bigger gift there for all of us. Am I willing to accept what is, what happened? So, and finally the, uh, the bear, which is a great totem in the indigenous traditions and in the earth-based traditions about 
hibernation and how that bear really changes its chemistry. It really goes through like a butterfly every year, some kind of deep introspection where that bear ain't moving uh, if it's in deep hibernation. And, uh, and you should leave a bear alone that's hibernating. <laughs> So like us, all these symbols are inviting us to a deeper inquiry. And one of the greatest quotes I have for this dark past concept, and maybe you weren't a, a horribly nasty person or in a past life, if you believe in that, that you, know, you were a murderous person or a cattle thief or cattle rustler or whatever. Maybe you cheated at cards, yeah but maybe your dark past is the stuff that just hasn't been brought to the light. It just hasn't been brought to a great spirit. It hasn't been brought to the altar that somehow in my wounding or in my belief that I'm not good enough, I've hidden it. It's in the dark uh, and it's part of my dark past because I've withheld it from my, my God, my higher power, or maybe safe people. I couldn't find safe people to tell. So in the big book, it says, our dark past is our greatest gift. It is what makes life so worthwhile. It's our greatest possession. Because with the dark past, I am able to avert death and misery for countless others. Hmm. Hmm. What a odd thing to see my darkness whether you've done prison time, maybe you've done some unspeakable things that brought into the light that can be transformed into a healing gift. So if we go back to uh, Joseph Campbell, and I've put just a sketch here in the back, it may not be legible, but that's the hero's journey and the hero's journey. And it's about dropping down below our necks into subconscious Con unconscious and deep unconscious the stuff that's in the depths that's in the darkness our ego my ego doesn't want to go there but there's always an opportunity to catabasis or descent catabasis is a greek fancy greek word for descent and every adventure every heroic adventure man woman child is some kind of a catabasis. I have to drop into something that's uncomfortable, whether it was school, first day at kindergarten, perhaps it was um, riding a bike for the first time, or maybe when you were coloring a, a book and somebody heard you and or saw your work and said, that's ugly, but you kept drawing anywhere, anyway, and it was beautiful to you. So it's just, there's numerous opportunities for this darkness to be brought forward, to not be resisted. So Carl Jung and uh, also talked about the archetypes, the shadow parts of ourselves we hide, repress, and deny. He said also where our wound is is where our gift is. Now one of my contemporary teachers, uh, Michael Wolf at XPR, um, teaches about resisted experiences, and we've all known that what we resist persists. And if there is a great spirit and something happened awful to me, it's truth, it happened. So if I stop resisting it, I don't have to condone it, but if I accept it, that maybe in that pain, maybe in that suffering, there was some kind of a source of information from the great spirit for your soul mission. And as you got older, you developed skills to actually bring that soul mission, perhaps turning that wound into a gift in the world. So maybe there's some really good compost, spiritual compost that you can take and grow flowers in the garden. Or as Robert Bly would say, is you take all the ashes of the dreams that have faded or were burnt and were dashed and you take that compost, you take those ashes and you go into the garden and you plant an exotic tree from Persia, something uh, that Hafiz or Rumi would do. 
So our gift is not, our wound is not something to be resisted, but I do need help because my ego, my proclivity not to experience pain doesn't want me to go there. So that brings us to the dark past is a great gift. It really is an amazing thing and I need help to look at it quite honestly. And uh, I know you're a circle of, of uh, sojourners and journeyers that have done some work. So difficult people, I have been one. There may be some people in this circle right now that can say amen to that. <laughs> or I have uh, been difficult because I was in pain or I didn't understand or I was under-resourced at a moment and I dropped down into an old way of being to try to navigate a painful moment. So if there's only one of us, wow, is that difficult person over there me? And if I'm being difficult, are they also difficult? Hmm. So that's a game changer. And especially with this idea that if people, difficult people trigger you, or if you're very, if you're in a very oversensitive or immature space, you might get twigged. Like I got triggered the other day by somebody kind of pulling in front of me. I got really angry. And I finally laughed at myself. I said, okay, so the dude pulled in front of you. So what? Why are you so angry? Oh, that driver is all gift. What is it that I could be doing? Or what is it that I'm resisting? And maybe it was resisting being happy or I was in a hurry. But that person was all gift. So if I have a, per, a problem with a person, place, thing, or situation, the problem is in me, or the opportunity is in me, or the gift in my unconscious, something's trying to pull me down into a deeper awareness to find an old way of being that's still causing problems for me in my life, and I can bring it into the light or I can call uh, Tam or Vanessa and say, hey, I'm hurting. I got really triggered. And then that is an opening door to catabasis, a descent into grief, sadness, fear. Y'all may remember the story about Pandora's box and all those nasty things that were in there. And thank God there was hope down in there. And so the hope that lies within us, if I ask for help, if I admit I'm in pain, which that's a dark thing to, to admit that I'm in pain or I've been withholding and not telling everybody I have a problem. And then it transforms into a gift. And then to further me along my path, the great spirit has sent me a few difficult people, sometimes myself, to see, wow, what part of that person is exhibiting the part of me that I am just as guilty for the same stuff or something really like it? And then I can just drop into, yeah, I'm also guilty. I did it. I did it. Not like, I don't know, I'm going to pick on Bill Clinton. He didn't inhale, but I did. <laughs> so... <laughs> So if we just find a safe place to tell on ourselves that maybe that empathy, that understanding, that acceptance, that I did fall short or I made a mistake, or maybe I wasn't really living in a way that I aspired to as a human being, that it's okay. Maybe it's okay to hide, repress, and deny it, but I don't think that's why I'm, why I'm here. And I don't think why y'all are here on Sunday to, to, to worship and, and commune together. So this empathy, this deep acceptance of my own shortcomings, if I look into the, my own heart and soul deeply with help, then I can look into the hearts and souls of other people, hopefully not to manipulate or control them or berate them, but to love them and accept them and bless them because there's only one of us. So I uh, bless us all today to celebrate 
wherever we can, where we were hurt and wounded, because maybe that's part of our soul mission. And to transform those wounds into gifts, to not resist those experiences, and to realize that there is a call to dissent, a call to catabasis, a call to those emotions that aren't so friendly, aren't so comfortable. And then with the help of those around me, I can transform those wounds into a huge, huge gift, a blessing for myself, for others. And I can carry out my soul mission and uh, actually have a lot more fun uh, on the planet while I'm making a difference. So thank you all for uh, being here and thanks for the invitation. And uh, I, I like the idea that I can actually show up to a community and not see people, and, but see you and see your hearts and souls. And because I've seen my own heart and soul, and that's where the one of us reside, that you can take this kind of energy that, that the circle brings you every Sunday and take it with you and be celebration circle for others in the world. Thank you so much. Bless you all. Thank you very much, Daniel. Um, that was a really beautiful message and teaching about um, the dark and the light and how to transform. So for today, I selected a type of meditation called the Tonglen meditation, which is about that same topic, how to take darkness and pain and transform it into something that is useful and helpful and um, can be really good. So we'll begin by finding a comfortable posture or position so that we can be alert and upright, but also relaxed and soft. When you're ready, allow your eyes to close down and bring your full attention into your heart center. Allow the breath to feel as though it is entering and exiting directly through your heart. begin to reflect on all of the greed or hatred or confusion in the world that we live in. Begin to acknowledge how all beings are suffering on one level or another. While some of us are dying of starvation, others are dying because of obesity. While some are suffering from oppression, others are suffering and that they are oppressing others. Begin turning your heart and mind toward the truth of suffering in this world. Begin to breathe in suffering or your awareness of it. And then begin to breathe it all out feeling waves of compassion in all directions. Do this over and over in your own practice with your own breath pattern, breathing in suffering, breathing out compassion. When we practice this kind of meditation, the Tonglen meditation, that helps us learn how to send mercy and compassion and forgiveness to all beings, to the whole world. Breathing in suffering and pain and confusion. Exhaling compassion and calm. Now I want you to bring up a personal aspect in your life to practice with. Bringing to mind a specific situation in your life that is painful. And breathe into your heart the pain of that situation, allowing those feelings to arise for just a moment. 
as you exhale, breathe out mercy and compassion for yourself and for the situation as it presents in your own life. Then when you're ready, begin to expand again. And this time on the inhalation, begin to include people in your life that you love. Breathe in the pain or the sorrow of your loved one. Allow that feeling to bubble up for just a moment. And on your next exhalation, breathe out compassion for their suffering. And each inhale, breathing in sorrow or confusion or pain. As we exhale, exhaling compassion and understanding. As we inhale sorrow and pain, it can be helpful to remember that these are coming from a place of unskillfulness or lack of resource, as Daniel mentioned in the talk. Exhale compassion. This kind of practice can be very difficult as we're allowing in that sense of pain and sorrow and confusion. That reminder that Daniel offered us today that this comes from unskillfulness and lack of resource makes it much more tolerable, especially as we go on to the next part, the next level. In your next inhalation, expand to include the people that you do not already know or you do not already love. Begin to allow in the pain or sorrow of unknown people or even people that you find particularly difficult as everyone is suffering on one level or another, just like we are. Breathe in that suffering or confusion or pain. And exhale compassion. Continue working with this type of meditation in your own practice if it feels useful to you. We often don't feel its effects or its benefit right away, but as we continue to practice, it does slowly over time begin to open our hearts. To allow us to find a sort of tolerance or capacity for sorrow and pain. Even for the most unskillful of situations. As we inhale and exhale through the practice, it's important to include those that we find difficult, those that we find neutral, those that we love, and also ourselves as each of these are part of that interconnected web of existence. Take a few more breaths on your own breath cycle. Then when you're ready, let go of the visualization, let go of the practice and just breathe normally. Feel your breath and your body. Notice if there's any tension or any lightness, any constriction or expansion in one part of the body or the emotions or the mind. And just notice it. Try not to judge or label it. Just notice. Now 
And we'll end our practice today with a very simple closing statement or mantra. May I, may we awaken the compassionate heart for the benefit of all living beings. Thank you guys. Thank you, Chris. Today's meditation. Um, coming up is uh, Ruby with uh, All Things Give Thanks. Mm -hmm. In all things give thanks, in all things give thanks, 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 in all things give thanks. Won't you join me in the simple chant, in all things give thanks. In all things give thanks. In all things give thanks. Thanks, thanks. In all things give thanks. Give thanks for the gift of life. And dark, the one light shines through all of creation with hands and hearts open wide. We lift our voices in celebration. Give thanks in all things. Give thanks, thanks, thanks in all things. Give thanks in all things. Give thanks in all things. Give thanks. Thank you, Rudy. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you, Rudy. Um, now we will do our offering basket. Uh, we are online. And uh, so we have donations that are uh, via Venmo, um, also via PayPal. And uh, send uh, when you're sending it, just send, um, share it, you know, as a friend. Um, also, you donate on the celebrationcircle.org, uh, our website. And uh, all prayer requests are also welcome. So send some requests uh, at Celebration Circle, uh, well, at circle at celebrationcircle.org. Uh, and I will be request uh, all your, um, your uh, send requests. And uh, together, um, let's um, say, um, I give to you, O Spirit, as you have given to me with hearts wide open. Again, I give to you, O Spirit, as you have given to me with heart wide open. Thank you. Now we're gonna have again our guest uh, singer, Vanessa. The song is called Skeletons. We all got skeletons in our closet, no one need to know them about it, better tired than fun. We all have closets full of keeping them when we begin to tail spin. We all got things we hide away that we don't want nobody to see. Got lots of stuff that we stuff in the corners. Ooh, yeah.
There are so many things that hide away that we don't know how to see. And there's so much piled up on top of it that it just cannot break free. Well, I'm saying now's a mighty fine time to let it all catch a breeze. So pull it out, let it pile up, the sun will plan a release. Ooh, yeah, 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 da -da, da -da, all the way out. Uh, we got a we got a couple of announcements for today and uh, just a reminder also too um, every uh, Wednesday we have meditation and it happens um, from 7 30 to 8 p.m central time and you can go to our Facebook at celebration circle to join us for the meditation every Wednesday and uh, next Sunday, June the 13th, the yin and the yang of spiritual, spiritual growth, how your ambition could be getting in the way. Uh, what does it mean when you are doing everything right but still feel disconnected? Sometimes the very ambition that drives us is what holds us back. Yeah, I feel that. Uh, Jennifer Gwynn is a dancer and a licensed acu uh, um, acupuncturist uh, who founded Sanctuary Community of Acupuncture and Nourishing Healing Collective, a natural healing center and movement studio. Movement has been her passion most of her life and now she helps others find their flow through acupuncture and body work. And uh, also too, if uh, anybody has any announcements, they can speak now. Um, and please be sure to follow us and find us on Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram uh, at Celebration Circle, and um, now uh, another, uh, I another song. Do, hang on, there is. Um, I do have one announcement that um, Biblio Circle is meeting today um, at I think it's twelve thirty. So um, the Zoom links on Facebook um, and went out in the um, around the circle email on Friday. But um, join Michelle and everybody, and you don't have to have read a book. Um, you can come and just listen if you want an idea for a book, or they talk about, um, you know, TV shows and, and, and recipes as well. So it's always, um, I'm going to try to hop on today, but it's, it's always, the times I've been, it's been a, a good discussion. So thanks, Tam. Cool. Thank you. All right. So now we have... Um... Love is the only power. As we close and go our separate ways online, we remember wherever we are, whatever we do. Love is the only power. Love is the only way. Love, 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 love. Watch a circle grow. Love is the only power. 
Love is the only way. We can all, if everybody wants to unmute, um, Zet can explain how we do our unmuting. Yes. <laughs> and, and we're going to end. Uh, hold on a minute. <laughs> okay. okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay. Let's, hold on a minute. You're muted, Zet. Now? Now yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So on the count of three, we're going to uh, shout the joyful yes together. All across. In cacophony and uh, <laughs> the miraculous nature of us being uh, socially distanced uh, oh, yes. across yeah. time. And so across. here we go. Cacophony and uh, the miraculous nature of us being uh, one socially distant two yes. Yes. three yeah yes. 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 love y'all love you one noise two yes. three 